Hello friends, Namaskar. As you all are well aware that nowadays income tax department is taking up the assessment procedure in the faceless regime. Now what happens in a faceless regime? The income tax department generally does not provide or does not send any physical notice to the assessee and all the communication in relation to the online assessment is taken up in a email information manner or in a message, SMS kind of manner. Sometimes what happens or it is seen that the assessees have not updated their current mobile number or their current email ID on the income tax portal. So due to this reason what happens that if an assessment is pending in your case which is a very important procedure in the income tax related law then if your mobile number and email ID is not properly updated sometime you may not receive the communication and you may not know that an assessment is pending in your case. So through today's video, my dear friends, I thought of why not I should share this idea amongst public at large so that they may know that okay, how to check Mr. Bhatia online that whether an assessment is pending in my case or not. And if an assessment is pending, then how I should need to primarily respond. So through this session, I'm trying to put up, up, put up my ideas which may be useful to the public at large. So let me first take you to the assumption that okay you are logging in in your income tax portal wherein after you putting up your PAN and password your income tax login is initiated and there you find your name is written they are saying income tax department welcome back Mr. Anup then my mail then my PAN then my contact number my email ID probably would be mentioned there. What is important here as I am saying that I am suggesting that you need to check online that whether an assessment is pending, you will go to the option pending action. Once you will click here in the tab options which are appearing here, you will find that there is an option called e-proceeding. This is very important. Herein you have to click at e-proceeding. This e-proceeding will let you know that whether an assessment is presently pending in your case or a penalty is presently pending in your case. So this is where you have to click as a assessee to find out that whether there is any pending proceeding against me before income tax department or not. So in continuation of my previous slide, if you are clicking at e-proceeding, you will find that there are two options for your information and for your action. Once you will go into for your action, it means income tax department is asking you to respond and you can see that in the case of the present Assessee's example wherein I am picking up this case, the proceeding name given is assessment proceeding under section 147. For which assessment year? For which financial year? This proceeding will be completing, this is the limitation date, it may not be probably right. And this proceeding when initiated, it is also mentioned here. The assessee will find, that is you will find your PAN and name of the assessee here. Mind you, this assessment can be 140. 7 can be 143 3 can be 144 even so in the present case which i am picking up for an example the assessment is pending against assessee under section 147 suppose assessee wishes to know that okay let me see which notice has been done you can click here view notices so once you click at view notice you will be able to download a pdf file which will contain that notice for your reference based on that you can connect with your consultant with your charter accountant with tax consultant who can further look into the case or you may also proceed on your own if you are ready with the information required by the department. So once you click at view notices then you find view notices for e-proceeding the assessment proceeding say presently is 147 the assessee span the assessee's name for which assessment year which financial year the relevant communication reference number then the present notice which we can look into is 142 one notice. You may say Anupji assessment is under 147. Yes sir. In an assessment of 147 there can be a notice of section 142 one. This notice is primarily issued to call for the information from the assessee pertaining to the assessment. So this notice is 142 one. This notice was issued on this date and the response due date is say 13th of December 2022. Suppose assessee wishes to go into response submission you have to click here. You want to see this notice, you have to click here. You want to seek any adjournment, then you have to go into the adjournment option even. 
there can be further notices also this one is only an example which i tried to summarize here for your benefit that okay you may know that which kind of notice is there you can view the notice based on that notice you can prepare your case accordingly required submission may be filed from your side to the department now suppose you click that submit response then you will get this message kind of submit response to the notice id so and so then there will be again assessment proceeding your pan your financial year then assessment year then notice number through which you have been asked to produce the information then 142 one notice okay then what is the response date that is also there and then you are giving an given an option either to do a partial response or a full response partial response means when you are not giving full information at one shot full response means when you are giving the complete information required by the department here you have to put in here your remarks then you can attach certain documents in reference to this and accordingly your submission can be filed once it is ready from your side to be filed so suppose you have clicked that submit response then the it department that is this portal will ask you to click here that is a declaration i declare that best of my knowledge and belief the information furnished in the statement or statement is correct and complete and other particular shown are truly stated so this is important that okay you are taking the onus of whatever information you are submitting to the department you are sure about that and once you click at this declaration check box and you do submit then after submission you will get a window that will give you an acknowledgement of the response which you have submitted so that is a kind of surety that okay whatever response which you submitted has been duly acknowledged by the income tax department so this is how you can submit your response on the pending assessment proceeding at last my dear friend i must suggest that today being the time of faceless assessment faceless appeal as an assessee we need to be vigilant that whether the income tax department is communicating with us and if they are communicating are we properly responding to them or not so in this regard two very important suggestion i would like to summarize one we have to continuously check that our mobile number and email id are properly updated and if there is an assessment any other e proceeding may be penalty proceeding or recovery proceeding is pending against you that is properly within your information with the help of this tab which i have discussed with you so i hope you will find this video uh, useful to you thank you very much for being with me wishing you all the best jai